Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. The current date is the 8th of June and I am currently four days out, four days out from my first ever bodybuilding competition. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Um, not too much to fill you in on since my last upload. Uh, it is currently peak week, which I thought was meant to be fun. <laughs> it turns out it's not that much fun. <laughs> uh, basically, I have just done three days of low carbs. Um, and I checked in with Dan this morning. I will leave my photos here. Um, and we are doing another low day today and another low day tomorrow which you would think I wouldn't be moaning about because cardio is coming down I only did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster today tomorrow is 15 minutes and then we're done with cardio steps are 9k today they've only been 10k for the rest of the week so you'd think you know I'd be buzzing it's peak week I'm excited for show but if I'm honest with you, I feel like fucking dog shit still. <laughs> so whoever tried to sell me peak week as fun, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm sure it will get fun um, from Thursday onwards because from Thursday onwards we feed up a little bit. But, you know, it's all good fun. It's all good fun. Um, I just feel like the days are really dragging now. Like, I honestly feel like I'm waiting for Christmas. I feel like I'm 12 years old again and I'm waiting for Christmas and it's just taking fucking ages to get here um i feel like my hunger has been worse this week than it has been for fucking ages my cravings have been way worse as well but i feel like that's because i know the time is nearing you know i know that we're nearly on stage so this morning i have done some check-ins um i went on a short walk nothing too crazy dragging my fucking ass on that walk but you know it is what it is i've had my chicken and veg meal and now i'm actually off to the hairdressers so that is exciting you know i'm going to the hairdressers i'm getting my long extensions put in um and then i'm going to be training my last proper session later today we're training pull so back and glutes um later today so i'll, I'll probably film a bit of that so yeah, anyway, welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. Um, I'm gonna go and get my hair done. And then I'll either see you in, like, I'll, I'll, I'll basically touch base with you afterwards. But th this, this video should hopefully be a good one because this video is peak week. Um, and, and I'll chat a bit more about peak week later in the video. But um, yeah, happy, I, like honestly, I look like shit right now, I know that. But we are, we're in the process of glam up. I'm not even wearing a bra or pants. Haven't done my makeup in probably about three weeks now. <laughs> So I am home from the hairdressers and I am home to the one and only cookie box co if you've been watching my channel you will know how excited i am for this post show treat so as mentioned before i was allowed to create my own custom order and this is what has been put together are you ready look what vic has done she is a fucking gem so this is my custom cookie slab from cookie box co look how thick this is right now look at this hang on let me get look. look at that so this is cookie dough stuffed with biscoff and and actual brownie pieces i do believe and then on the top here we have my favorite things in the world so we've got um milky bar we've got milky buttons we've got white chocolate oreo dairy milk we have boost bar galaxy brownie bites caramac which i haven't tried but i'm excited to try so yeah like to put that into perspective that's how big my hand is and that's the size of the cookie so i'm going to be putting this in the freezer for the next 
couple of days and then we'll be taking it with us and I will be eating this Saturday evening and don't worry I will be getting like a little I'll get the shot you know the shot with me eating it I'll get that don't worry but yeah literally not paid not sponsored or anything like that this is the best fucking baked goods in fact this is probably the best thing I've ever had in my mouth ever <laughs> and um yeah I just could like, yeah just thank you Vic you're an absolute gem and I cannot wait to eat that post show also came home to the most beautiful cards from my clients let me show you so this one is from Katie this is so sweet isn't it it's just so such nice words in this card just basically saying good luck um wanted to send you this card to say good luck on your first ever bodybuilding competition you've worked so bloody hard and it is amazing to watch your progress you're going to smash it on the stage and you should be so proud of all you have achieved hope you have an amazing experience so lovely and then this also this card from Haley. look at this little photo of us at the photo shoot a couple of weeks ago um and in here again just beautiful words um i just wanted to wish you a massive good luck for your show this weekend you are a massive inspiration to me and you are going to absolutely smash it i also just want to say thank you so much for everything one whole year with cbg and you have changed my life can't wait to see what the future holds that is just so sweet um and now my camera battery is flashing so i'm gonna leave it there but yeah very excited for this very grateful for my amazing girls <laughs> We are back in the car. It is a little bit later on now. It's half past three. Um, I've had my extensions put in. Admittedly, I've just chucked them into a ponytail. Had a little bit more of a fringe cut in as well, which I don't know if I'm vibing. I feel like I hate change. Um, and I do prefer having short hair, if I'm honest with you, but the long can stay while we compete. Anyway, I'm now off to do, while well, I'm sat outside the gym. Whoa, cool kid. <laughs> I'm sat outside the gym because um, I've got my last proper session and then yeah we're done so I'll probably insert a little bit of footage but nothing crazy I'm feeling good I'm actually feeling pretty fucking good this morning I was feeling rotten and now I actually feel okay I actually feel all right I was having a little boogie on the way here listening to my music I'm excited do you know what I'm fucking excited I just got to embrace these last couple of days. I've just got to embrace these last couple of days. Um, yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm fucking buzzing. Get me on that stage, man. Get me on that stage. So I'm gonna train, then I'm gonna go home, catch up on some more client work, have my post workout, and then I'll probably go and do some posing. And then yeah, catch up with you in a bit. annoyingly um my camera actually ran out of battery while i was training earlier um so that will teach me to not forget a spare battery but anyway it doesn't really matter too much um because i want to show you my last my actual actual last session on thursday which is going to be like my pump session before show because we're going to be going to trojan um which is a gym in bristol so anyway i'm gonna oh god something in my eye i'm gonna sit and fill you in um in terms of like updates and where we're at with everything because i feel like earlier in the video i was like oh nothing to really update you on but actually when i think about it there's quite a lot to update you on so there has been a few changes in terms of what we're doing um, with it being peak week. So to kind of explain to anyone who doesn't know what peak week is, it's basically the week that you peak your physique to the best that it can look. Um, so there's lots of different techniques and variations and everybody is so different. Every coach is so different um, and everybody has their own methods. I think that males will always have a bigger variation of their peak week so 
where the guys tend to do a lot of crazy shit, you know, they tend to go low carb and deplete and then they feed up loads and they basically like carb up a lot more than, than women do, um, mainly just because they're a lower body fat percentage. So the things that they change, like when they change it, it's so much more obvious. Um, with females, uh, you, you don't need to manipulate as much and I feel like sometimes people think, and you've put, if you follow bodybuilding, you will have heard the same fucking person say this time and time again. Peak week isn't a magical week where everything gets better and you look better. Um, peak week is normally just, just the final touches, you know, um, and just making sure that, you know, you're peaking your physique to the best it can be. So, like I said, everybody is different. Um, so there's not a one size fits all or any of that bollocks. Um, but for us, this is what has changed. So, did a couple of medium days. I feel like last episode I was in my medium days and we've just done two low days, three low days, two low, two or three low days. Um, and tomorrow is also a low day. <laughs> and then from then I can imagine that we're just gonna feed up. So we're gonna start increasing the carbohydrates because at the moment, I'm very flat and I'm very dry. So I'm not eating a lot of carbohydrates at the moment. So I'm not holding um, much water or, you know, my muscles, my muscles aren't particularly full at the moment. Um, I'll actually insert a little video from post workout today so that you can see what I mean. Um, I'm just looking quite flat and quite dry, which is perfect apparently. <laughs> apparently. Um, Dan said that that's exactly what he's looking for. So yeah, a couple of things that have changed. Um, number one, I have no sugar-free sauces or syrup in anything now. So my coffee in the morning has no sugar-free syrup in it, which is shit. <laughs> um, and I'm not using any flavour drops in any yoghurt or oats, and I'm not using any sugar-free syrup on any of my meals. Um, another change is that I am only drinking normal plain still water. I'm not drinking Vimto squash anymore, which I'm not going to lie to you, is probably the worst part. <laughs> I love my Vimto squash and drinking, so today I've had to drink six litres of water. Drinking six litres of plain water when you've been drinking Vimto squash for the last... 19 weeks is pretty fucking savage um so this is actually my last little bit once i've drunk this i've drunk six liters today so water is high at the moment and there's no squash still allowed to drink one monster a day still allowed to have one pepsi max a day still keeping my sauces in i'm not i don't i never use any of the like skinny foods or anything like that i never use any of those savory sauces so sauces are the same um we are keeping an eye on salt so salt is the same amount of salt every single day <laughs> the same amount of cracks in my salt every in my meals every single day um, and I think that's pretty much it in terms of things that we've taken out. Um, so we're, we're still keeping Monster in, we're still keeping Pepsi Max in for now. Um, all water is plain. I actually put a, a joke on my story, uh, yesterday and of this bottle and I think I said like, oh, I'm, I've broke, I've like, prep has broken me because I can't have Vimto squash. People thought I was fucking serious. They were like, oh, you stay, stay tight, sit tight, gee, you've come this far. I was like, oh, remind me never to joke on Instagram again. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's basically the update. Um, so I'm looking forward to Thursday because we get to eat on Thursday, hopefully. Fingers fucking crossed. Um, but yeah, until then, it's just low food. So tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is a rest day, which means that it is a low carb rest day, which means green eggs, loads of fucking chicken and loads of fucking veg. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll probably touch base with you guys tomorrow, getting my lashes done tomorrow, which is exciting. Um, and that is the update. That is the update. I look an absolute state at the moment, I know. Um, got my little hoodie on. I'm gonna do a couple more programs. I'm trying to get as much work done before the weekend as possible because I'd like to chill on Friday and I'd like to chill on Saturday realistically um but knowing me i'll end up fucking working anyway because i am addicted to work but yeah i will catch you guys tomorrow 
Good morning YouTube. It is the next day now. It is Wednesday the 9th and I am currently three days out from my competition and I am, what time is it? Quarter five, no, quarter past five, sorry, in the morning and I am currently walking to Pure Gym because basically we leave Birmingham tomorrow which is just fucking ridiculous. Can't believe how quick that's come around but I want to practice in my show bikini so as you can see <laughs> currently have it on so I thought I would get ahead of my clients this morning before they will wake up and check in because I've got a busy check-in day today um, I would go to Pure Gym and I've got my heels yeah and uh, pose in my bikini and do my routine in my bikini which haven't done yet so yeah it's all going on slept okay last night actually for what it is um and today is a low carb day so i'll show you some of my meals i'm gonna do this um and then i'll probably check in with dan on my way home well not on my way home but outside when i get home anyway, i'm gonna stop vlogging because holding this camera and walking on now um i have had my first meal which was 60 grams of oats today is meant to be a low carb rest day but i checked in with dan this morning and he said okay follow low carb rest day but add in 60 grams of oats and no stair master i was meant to be doing my last stair master session today of 15 minutes but he said gee don't do it so i was like oh my god so yesterday was my last my last stairmaster before show and I didn't even know. So no stairmaster today, 8,000 steps today, low carb rest day, but 60 grams of oats, which I have fucking smashed this morning. It was so nice. Um, and now it's actually 9 a.m. Um, and the cleaner is gonna be here in a minute. So I was gonna get my nails done tomorrow, but what I think I might do is get my nails done today and then pack tomorrow instead. Okay, I'm home from having my toenails done and my actual nails. I have gone for this kind of ombre white tip with a little crystal on the ring finger. I've also had my lashes done. And now I'm home, I am having my next meal, which is 120 grams of beef with vegetables. I just got sent the two most beautiful bunches of flowers um, from some beautiful people so first lovely bunch of these sunflowers i feel like they are sunflowers it's from my amazing client Lindsay, and she said to georgie just a little something to tell you i think you are fabulous you will smash this weekend lots of love and protein shakes from Lindsay. <laughs> what a babe and these beautiful pink flowers from none other than my bestest friend Mia. Like, she is a fucking gem. 
she said, just want to say how proud of you I am and how hard you have worked this year to achieve your dream. You are going to smash it this weekend and I can't wait to see what's next. I'm always here cheering you on and I love you so, so, so much. I said it before and I'll say it again. There is nothing you can't do. So yeah, like I feel like the luckiest girl in the world having these beautiful flowers and cards show up. I really like your eggs in the afternoon. I like mine with no sweetener. So it's a little bit later on now. I've just been catching up with some client work and um, I'm having my next meal which is basically my eggs from this morning plus 100 grams of chicken so kind of two meals in one um just because i had my oats this morning and then i've been running around at my hair appointment at my lash appointment and my nail appointment um so yeah anyway um because i can't have any sweetener at the moment my eggs normally i just put loads of sweetener in them sugar-free syrup but obviously we've cut sweetener out now so i've blended the egg with the spinach and i'm about to eat it i've put ketchup on here so i'm about to basically eat savory eggs so if you don't know if you're new here i don't like eggs i hate eggs always have done always will do but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try the eggs with some ketchup and some chicken Live taste test. Live taste test. Here we go. Let's get a bit of chicken on there, shall we? Yeah, I'm still not really a fan, if I'm honest. Hey, the time is. It's a lot later on now. It is half past seven. I have done my client check-ins. It has been busy on client check-ins today. Um, so I'm literally only just filming again. But this is my second to last meal. 200 grams of potato, buzzing, 100 grams of chicken and veg. Yes, I'm still got sauce. And look what Ali picked up for me earlier. <laughs> she went to M&S to get me some millionaire mini bites for Saturday. I literally have just been craving these, like I've literally just been thinking about them loads, so got those for post show as well. It's currently just gone 8 o'clock and I am lying here in bed with my feet up, um, just trying to keep my feet rested as much as I can at the moment. So today is done, um, I have one more meal to eat which is yoghurt with berries with no peanut butter. <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna try and get a reasonably early night because I was up so early this morning doing my posing because I wanted to just get that done because I knew today was gonna be busy. Obviously, we've had the nails done, had the toenails done, had the lashes done. Got myself some thick lashes from my girl, um, which look great. It's just a shame about the rest of my face. Um, and yeah, I'm just chilling. By the way, I know I've been wearing this jumper. You know, Remember you saw it on last week's vlog, on last episode. I've literally bought another another two, so I've got three of them now. It's that Adidas jumper. I'm in love with it. I've literally worn it every day and I bought two more. So if you carry on, you'll see me wear this for basically the rest of the week now. So just know that I actually have three of them. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up, not I'm going to wrap up this video, I'm going to wrap up today and I will catch you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> tomorrow is going to be about packing and leaving. I'm going to have so much to pack. I'll show you what I'm packing as well, obviously. Uh, so yeah, catch you in the morning. Good morning YouTube, it is the following day now, it is the 10th of June and I am two days out from my first ever bodybuilding competition. Woo! I can't believe I'm two days out. I'm competing the day after tomorrow. 
Can we just? Anyway, um, this morning, I have been a busy bee this morning. I have got up bright and early, quarter to five, got to Pure Gym, did some posing in my bikini, routine practice in my bikini. Didn't film it because it's basically just what happened yesterday. And now I'm sat outside more suns because today we start the carb up which is fucking exciting like i love carbs so um i need to go in there and buy some buy some bits i'll show you what i buy um and then i'm gonna go home we're gonna pack and then we're gonna leave i'm gonna get in a, a workout on the way a little like um pump workout upper body pump workout and then we're off to birmingham yeah crazy crazy i feel good this morning i feel good this morning um those 60 grams of oats yesterday sorted me out i don't actually feel like death warmed up which is nice oh, so oh my god they're pink as well right this is from ah oh, name rita to georgie <laughs> So um, Naomi and Rita have sent me some flowers this morning and it says to Georgie Massive, congratulations and best of luck. We're both so proud of you. You're going to smash it. All our love. Mm, so sweet. <clears throat> so I'm in the process of packing. Um, so I'm going to show you like not everything, of course, but like this is my show day bag, which I did show in the last episode. There's nothing really that I've added to here that I haven't told you about. Um, got my little pump up bands. Then over here we have all of the tech stuff. So all of my camera gear, my laptop stuff, portable charger. I'm gonna take my actual laptop, obviously. And then in here we have started the food, the food bag. So just got like oats, got my supplements in there, the standard uh, mixing bowl. I've got like whey protein in Tupperware, I think there's some cream of rice in there somewhere. Cream of rice, shakers, got my Support Max Neuro, Support Max Neuro PM, Sleep Stack, um, plain rice cakes with no salt. I've got, of course, the Millionaire Shortbread, of course. Um, some bananas, so that's all being packed in there. Got some meal prep on the go, Ali has as well. So that's um, some of the carbs for today. Room number three, have like my personal bits and bobs so clothing got a couple of like hair tools um some clothes basically mainly all of my clothes i'm taking are mainly just pajamas something nice in case we decide to go out um and just some jumpers and then in here i've got like makeup not very much though to be fair um face stuff and then like body stuff as well my next meal which i am consuming while we drive to the gym. An absolute throwback being here again. I 
I know it looks like shit, but this is my post-workout, 110 grams of oats. Hey gang, we are at the Airbnb now, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour because that's what you do on YouTube. So this is the kitchen, very nice kitchen. As you can see, I've already unpacked my things. We have cream of rice, we have whey, we have bananas, and our shortbread things, some carbohydrates, um, and then in the fridge you'll be glad to see that the cookie box has survived nice and safely and then this is our little like living room area very nice nice view into the beautiful city of Birmingham <laughs> such a lovely place and then um, we have the mascot one bedroom this is my bedroom in here and there's a little bathroom, there's a bath. And then the other side is Ali's bit. Say hi, Al. Hi. Another little bedroom. Is this a door into your bathroom? That's so weird. Look it. Can you do that? Oh yeah. So yeah, we have arrived and I'm going to sit and start editing this video. So I'm just making my next meal which includes bagels and it turns out that there's no knives in this Airbnb like okay don't get me wrong there's these kind of knives butter knives but there's no sharp knives and I don't I hate to say it but it's because we're in Birmingham isn't it I can't believe there's no sharp knives in this fucking Airbnb what is that I have just had some bagels and they were so good. It is seven o'clock now um, and I'm actually gonna wrap up this video here um, because I've been editing it and it's half an hour now and I'll start a new video tomorrow. I am literally so tired. I'm so excited to go to bed tonight. Um, the game plan for the rest of the evening is feet up and feet up. I know that's upside down, but basically I'm now gonna have a shower um, and I'm gonna shave my legs my bikini line my underarms and then we are going to veet i say we because ali's going to help um we're going to veet everything else basically so that i am hashtag hairless for tomorrow's tan up um and then yeah i'm just going to leave the video here i think i'll have my final meal tonight um and then wake up tomorrow and see what the carbohydrates have done to my body <laughs> um, so the next video you see will be um, the day before show and then hopefully a lot of show day as well so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching the video I hope that you have enjoyed the crazy insight to um, a bodybuilding prep like I'd like to say there's not many other people on YouTube correct me if I'm wrong who share this much in terms of bodybuilding prep life thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.